What's going on, Gemini? My name is Vince. Welcome to 7D Tarot. If this message resonates, like, share, and subscribe. And for more clarity on your situation, check out your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you would like to schedule your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. And for a totally fresh perspective, check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. You will love her. You can find her info in the description box as well. And Gemini, make sure you stay tuned until the end of your reading where I will pull a final message from the universe tying everything together and we will pull your animal spirit card. What is your animal spirit for today? How are you feeling? All right, so what is really going on in your life, Gemini? How do you feel in? How's your career? How's your love, romantic energy? Who should you watch out for? Who is coming? You know, is there any travel? What is going on in your life? Right now, let's find out. So the first card is, ooh, seven of wands. Definitely a time to create a protective bubble around yourself. So I see there's a lot of influence, right? A lot of people trying to persuade you to be doing something. And right now, your angels are telling you to really feel for yourself, right? Not even think for yourself. Like don't follow the mob, the brainwashing, the influence. Feel what your next move should be. But look at this, ace of wands next to the ace of swords, next to the two of swords, wow. So the star, five of wands, two of wands, nine of cups, oh. Oh my, oh my, it is good. Lover's card, oh my goodness. So a lot of new energy. You're going to really be putting yourself in a position to not only be meeting new people, but also new opportunities, new experiences. Your soul has been yearning for this, right? The soul always knows, but the soul needs to experience, right? And right now, I see here that not only is it fruitful when it comes to romantic energy, but also financial energy. So it's like when you're not resisting anything, you're not resisting everything. So right now, I see here that your love life, your work life are entangled, right? When you are feeling really good, when you're vibing, when you're in that high vibration, when you're doing you, it's like everyone wants to be around this energy. Gemini, you are so magnetic. You walk into a room, and this is peer-reviewed science. When you are in a grateful, thankful, excited state, your heart emits a magnetic signature that's up to three meters wide that's why you ever like you see someone and you're like whoa you're glowing what are you doing or wow you know you or or the exact opposite like you walk into a room and you're like uh oh were two people fighting in here I could feel the energy that's because you could feel it and right now what I feel from you is there are multiple offerings coming your way these offerings are something that you've been manifesting you put a lot of time and energy into this Right now, I would be super excited, right? Like you put a lot of, of energy into your manifestations. Right now, maybe you have a clear and concise image of who it is you're looking for, you know, what job, what career. You've been feeling it. You've been, you know, putting a, a lot of thought in, you know, with the, into the story, the vision of the future. Now you're not left with the memory of the past. And I do see here a lot of action, a lot of clarity, a lot of downloads coming your way. This is very, very exciting energy. But right now your angels and guides are telling you that when this energy comes, not to be putting so much at, uh, pressure on yourself because it will cause resistance. And what does that really mean? So when you get some inspired action to do something, maybe you're gonna get some inspired action to monetize a passion, do something you love, or maybe inspired action to go back to school or you know, go ask someone on a date. Understand that it is going to be met with the ego trying to talk you out of it. Don't do it for the reason why, pick whatever it is, we'll fail, what the flavor of the day is, oh, the laugh at us, we're gonna lose money, whatever. And then on top of that, understand that when this happens, you know, you always have the option, you only have two options ever in life, right? Any situation. One, you have a sponsoring thought. That sponsoring thought is the thought behind the thought. What does that really mean? That means that when you're about to make a decision in your life, you're gonna get a download. Your angels are gonna tell you, do this, do this. You're gonna be like, whoa, fantastic. All right, I'm ready to do it. At that point, you have the option of choosing love, right? Which is like, I'm excited. This is gonna be awesome. Or choosing fear, which is like, I don't know, I don't know. This is, this is how it always goes. Every single decision you have to make. You wanna order pizza, you're gonna be thinking about, is this gonna be delicious or am I gonna get fat? You wanna go ask someone a date, are they gonna do, you know, is, it gonna, is this my soulmate or, or no, are they gonna to lie to me and betray me? This is what always happens. So this is no surprise. But understand that when you choose the option of love, 
everything works out for you. That's when really your angels, your guides, this is what they're trying to steer you towards. Choose love. It is going to work itself out. Fear is always the same old, same old. Boogie, boogie, boogie. Fear, fear, fear. And not only is it not fun and enjoyable, and not only does it prevent you from taking action, but on top of that, it makes everything much, much harder, right? So imagine when you choose love, you're driving in a car that's comfortable, luxurious. You know, you have these beautiful AC on if it's warm outside and you have GPS and navigation. Matter of fact, there's even an espresso machine in the car. I'm trying to be funny, right? Now, imagine when you choose fear, you're in a car, it's raining, your windshield wipers are not working, and then your headlights go out, it's dark. You're like, what do I do? No GPS, no map, and your tread on your tires is just bare, right? So you're like, oh my goodness, right? You're hydroplaning. That doesn't sound pleasant or fun. That's what fear feels like every single time. So why in the heck are we choosing fear? Because of brainwashing. Since you were born, since you were a little gal, little lad, we've been brainwashed to be careful. Don't hurt yourself. Don't get kidnapped. Don't get hurt. Don't lie. Don't do this, right? Oh, fear, fear, fear. So that's why you've been brainwashed to do so. It's nothing wrong with us, Gemini. It's normal. But you got to understand, you have to get out of your comfort zone. You have to instill a will greater than the programming. And right now, your angels are telling you that you are going to be getting some beautiful opportunity in your life. Something that is first going to start off maybe more business related, but then lead to romance. And I do see here that this is happening much, much sooner. But in the meantime, remember, don't be following the trend, the herd. Don't be following the mob right now. So if you feel like you need some time to rest, something us empaths got to work on, take some time to rest. If you feel like you need some, um, you know, time to, you know, for yourself, which is doing a little bit of meditation, a little bit of journaling, go for a walk, rather than always people pleasing, doing something for someone else, that's okay. Take some time for yourself. Now, let me pull your animal spirit. I want to know what your animal spirit's like. What are you feeling right now? What animal are you relating to right now? This is awesome. All right, so your animal spirit is, ooh, fox spirit. So right now, spirit is telling you to think on your feet. Very interesting, right? And that really comes down to just, look at her eyes. So sorry to jump in, but look. <laughs> <laughs> she is the best. I got a wiener dog that looks like this. Oh my God, look at her, always up the step. But right now, it's like think on your feet. What that really means is stop thinking and feel, right? If you wanna know exactly what to do, go. it's your instincts, right? Your instincts will always guide you. So the next time you are driving and you feel like you should go left because you feel like there's traffic, but then your mind says, no, don't go because of boogie, 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 fear, 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 whatever you feel is wrong. Let me just psych you out. Listen to your instincts and make that autopilot. Start getting accustomed to just doing what you feel like. That is your instincts. That's how your angels and guides communicate with you. All right, Gemini, let me get a final message from the universe. Universe final message for Gemini. What does Gemini need to know right now? Let's find out. And the card is intuition. Look at that. Look at this beautiful card. Oh my goodness, right? All right, so right now this is number 36, 36. That is another synchronicity. And the message is, you just seem to have a knack for knowing what's going to work. Your creative process is unique to you. You just get started and magic happens. You have a lot of endurance and you're a hard worker. Once you get focused on a project, you don't stop. You are a trendsetter and you seem to understand what people love. You are very forward thinking. You are being reminded that you have your own inner voice guiding you. Always tap into your wisdom and allow yourself the higher perspective. Right now, don't follow the mob, right? Listen to your intuition. What are the odds that we just spoke of? You know, listening to whatever it is that you feel like doing and not following the mob, your intuition, and then all of a sudden, this is your message. Slim to none. This is how the universe speaks to you, right? Through synchronicities. And right now, the universe is telling you that deep down inside, your soul knows what to do best. Always. This is not just some he say, she say. This is not just something cute. No, this is the real deal. Your soul doesn't need to learn what to do. Your soul needs to remember 
what to do, right? You are here on planet Earth to experience stuff. That's the only reason he came here. You chose to remember everything when he came here, uh, to forget everything, just to experience everything again. This is crazy. You may ask yourself, why would I do that? Well, why do you watch shows? Because it's entertaining, right? You want to learn stuff. You want to experience stuff. Right now, this is the energy that the universe wants you to follow. Don't listen to someone else. Listen to yourself. Don't listen to the mind or the body. Listen to your soul and everything will make sense. All right, Gemini, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, thank you. Till next time, honor your soul.